hello my sweet peaches and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello, welcome in. My name's Sophie, I'm so glad to have you here. And today I have an extra special island tour because we are touring one of my own islands. This is my island Mochi that I just finished recently. It is a rural Japan kind of overgrown town core vibe. I'm just putting on as many descript descriptive words for it as I can. But yeah, basically the idea is it is summertime, school is out, and there are festivals going on. Um, and yeah, that is my theme. Um, I'm so excited to show this island to you. Um, I'm just gonna stop, stop babbling and go ahead and show it to you all. Um, we're here at my entrance. Um, let me show you all the map, of course, because you're gonna want to see it. Um, so here is my map. Surprisingly very flat. If you've watched my, my building videos, you know that I, I really love to terraform. So I'm kind of surprised. It turned out so flat. There's very few cliffs. And the dream dress is down there. I'm I'm also gonna show on the screen I made my own little custom map. I always love when I see custom maps on Instagram and I thought I would try drawing my own before any of you ask. I don't do commissions because it took me like seven hours to draw it and I'm not that good at digital art. Um, but anyway, so our residents, we have Hotaru and Oji-chan. I'm gonna tell you more about them as we walk around. Um, and our villagers are Snake, Zucker, Mawina, Punchy, Doby, Mitzi, Chester, Shino, Cookie, and Genji. I really loved all my villagers for this island, and I'm just gonna go ahead and start walking along. So I had a lot of fun with this island. Um, I've never really worked with street codes. I definitely like to do very natural islands. So yeah, um, doing like streets and city type stuff is not my usual thing. Um, but I kind of wanted to try it out. I, I know I'm probably never gonna do proper city core. So I thought it'd be fun to do more like rural suburban and I still got to do some stuff I've always wanted to try, like use street paths and I've never been, um, I've never been able to put like vehicles in an island. I've maybe used like the trucks for like a food truck before, but yeah, I've definitely never done like big buildings or cars or anything like that. So I did get to try that out with this island while still staying in my kind of natural overgrown comfort zone. So here I had an arcade. Um, if you watched the video that I did where I'm kind of talking about my inspiration for this island, um, which I will, try to remember to link that when I'm editing. Uh, editing Sophie, do your thing. Put the link up in the top corner. Um, I wanted to add in a lot of inspiration from anime because I'm an anime nerd and that's kind of where the inspiration for this island uh, came from. Cause I feel like a lot of anime, like every every anime has to have like the summer festival scene where they're all, they're dressed up in their outfits uh, provided by Able Sisters. Speaking of providing outfits, this little dress and shoes that I'm wearing are sitting out right by residence services along with a ladder and a vaulting pole. You don't necessarily need those, but I thought I'd provide them anyways. Um, so yeah, you can get all dressed up when you come visit. Um, but yeah, I wanted to just make references to anime and I really, one of my favorite anime is uh, Himoto Marachan. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, and if you've seen it, you know she loves going to the arcade. I love that I, I feel the compulsive need to pick up uh, twigs, even though this is a dream tour. Um, which yes, I'm visiting the dream island, if you were wondering, because I already reset this island and I've already started my next one, which if you're curious, it's called Toadstool. It's gonna be uh, Autumn Kid Core. Um, so I'm visiting, oh my god, all the humans! <gasps> They're all here! Oh my god, wait, can we get a photo all of us together? Can we get a photo all of us? Can you guys come? Oh my god, look! Look at this! Oh my god, wait! No, come back! No, Hotaru! I wanted a family photo! Well, I kind of got one. That was... Ugh, that potentially could have been the best moment of my life, but it was not. Um... <laughs> Rip. Okay, so God, stop running away. This is Oji Chan, um, he, which means grandpa in Japanese. Um, and he says no running in the halls because, as we'll see later, his house is a school. Um, he yeah runs the local school. I think originally I was gonna have him be just the librarian, but now he just kind of runs the whole thing. And this is Hotaru, and Hotaru is his grandchild. Um, Hotaru is from the city and their parents were like, you're gonna go spend the summer with your grandpa. And Hotaru was like, ew, the countryside, I don't wanna go. I'm like a city kid. 
Um, but then they ended up loving nature and being out here. Um, so that's my whole little uh, backstory. I feel like I could write write a little, uh, I'm gonna write my own manga for, for this island now. Um, anyways, the builds, the actual island. Um, farmer's market <laughs> this was the last build that i did um i did a stream on my twitch channel to finish and this was my last beach to decorate and i was so brain dead like i did not know what to do and i had so many stalls and food items i just slapped them out a bunch of umbrella codes and wham bam we got a farmer's market here we've got our little newspaper stand uh, if you want to go read your news um also in my town lore hotaru has a part-time job that they run this newspaper stand in the morning and they hate getting up early but they get to hear all the cool gossip when everybody comes to get their newspapers um and up here is resident services um where you will wake up and I do have a kiosk there. I made a few codes for this island myself, which you're actually gonna see a few of them shortly, because we're gonna go back this way to the best part of this island. Um, now, I don't normally do my islands or my dream addresses, I suppose, set to nighttime, but I had to do it at nighttime for this build. This is the actual festival for the island. Um, so I wanted it to be kind of like a street festival. So as you can see, uh, the road is blocked off, so you can't drive your cars through and there's a parking sign. And I made both of these signs myself. I know they're not that fancy, but I'm still proud of myself that I made them. Um, so if you want those, you can download them from the kiosk in the plaza. And down this way, we have my girl Marina. Hello. What? We've never met, Marina. You lived on my island, Peach, for like a year, and you lived on this island for like three months or four months, however long it took me to make this. How do you not know me? Um, but here, Marina and Zucker, as I just said, I, I used to have both of them on my island, Peach. They were like, they were they were within my first ten villagers, I believe. Um, yeah, I think Z uh, Marina was from villager hunting for like my eighth or ninth, and then Zucker was my tenth. I and I had Octavian as a random move-in, so I had all the octopuses for a hot minute. Um, this is Marina's house. It is a fish market on the exterior, um, which doesn't really make sense because her interior is a seafood restaurant, and Zucker's interior is the market. So I don't know why. I, I should have switched it. I should have had the market actually be with Zucker. Um, but you know, I'm dumb and I don't have brain cells, so it's okay. But it looks cute, which I did do all the houses. I should mention that every fr everything is done for this island. Every house is decorated. Every interior and exterior um, is finished for this home. I did everything. I did all the beaches, every cliff. Um, I really went all out. I, I usually get lazy, but I was just, I don't know, I was so determined to make this island good. So I did everything. And yes, as I just showed, uh, Marina had a little fish seafood restaurant and Zucker had a little fish market. Um, a little morbid if you think about it too hard. Um, why can I not sit down? Hello? This is a bench, I should be able to sit. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Wow, okay, so I basically just did this street and lined it with a bunch of stalls. Right up front here are all the ice creams. Um, so you know you need some nice cold ice cream on a hot summer day. And here we've got some fun toys and I did drop some of them so you can actually pick these all up. So when you come visit, make sure you actually go up to the stalls and pick up some of these things. We got party popper, we got a light stick, we got the lantern. I'm gonna hold the lantern because um, I always forget about this item. Isn't it cute? I love just swinging it around. Um, and we've got some little masks for sale over there, as you can see. Love to see it. I, it's so fun looking up codes for this island. Um, I've always wanted to do a Japanese island just because there are so many good Japanese style codes in this game um, from all the amazing creators out there. Um, and here's my little peninsula. Um, I just made it kind of like a bonfire little, little thing um, so you can Enjoy roasting marshmallows and, and warming your footsies while you sit out on the beach to watch fireworks, which that basically is what this entire right beach um, is meant to look like. It's just this entire right beach basically, yeah, is just a spot to watch the fireworks um, after you've picked up your goodies from the stalls, from the, the market. Um, also the trees, I wanted to mention this island is set in the southern hemisphere so it is summertime during december so it is christmas time it's like december 
maybe 22nd, 21st when I did the stream address. Um, somewhere around there if you're curious. Um, but I wanted the twinkly lights. Unfortunately, that does mean the actual firework festival, um, like the August ones, it's winter time. Um, I did actually have some friends over for the August fireworks. If you go, pro tip, if you go to the final Sunday of August in the Southern Hemisphere, the snow is melted. It looked a little, a little grungy with the nasty melted grass, but it was nighttime and I have so much crap. You could barely tell, um, which if you don't follow my Instagram, go check it out. I am going to be posting like a billion fireworks photos over there um, of all the cute photos that I took. Um, I'll maybe pop some up on the screen right now, actually, just so you can see them of how this area looks with the lights and the fireworks. I so wish the fireworks could show in the dream address. If they did show in dream addresses, I probably would have made this just a normal northern hemisphere island. Um, or not normal, I guess. I mean, Southern Hemisphere is normal, too. Um, just not for me, you know. I normally do Northern Hemisphere. I think, yeah, this is my only Southern Hemisphere island I've done. Um, I'm not really commenting on the builds. I'm being very bad at, at commenting right now. But it, it's food. It's goodies. You can tell. You can see. You have eyes. Um, ho hopefully. I hope you have eyes. I'm sorry if you don't. Um... Yeah. Um, anyways, yeah, we have food on the beach. Um, there's fish in the water. Don't go swimming in there. There might be sharks. Be careful. Look, we have snail friends. There's snail friends. I had to show you all. Look at the snails. Sand snail. Had to include that. The most important code. And then, yeah, okay, pro decorating, pro decorating tip. Put the, put the stick next to the, next to the, the, the sand drawings. Looks like you just drew something. That was like the best part of this, the best part of this island. We got some more goodies over here. I'm not gonna pick them up so you can find out what they are yourself when you come visit. <gasps> Hello, Punchy! Was Punchy bot? Was Punchy getting a goldfish? Were you scooping a goldfish to to eat? <laughs> Little Punchy. Oh, let me talk to him. Let me say hi. We do know each other. We do know each other though. We were neighbors. We were neighbors. My house is right next to yours. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, goldfish stand. I'm obsessed with this code. Uh, it's somewhere on my Pinterest if you're interested. Um, I have my Pinterest always linked below. Also, yes, look at the fireflies. Look at the firefly over there. Aren't they beautiful? This was the main reason why I was like, I have to do Southern Hemisphere. I want fireflies. I want the glittery trees. I want it all. It's, it's truly beautiful. Um, more goodies right there. I put a lot of stuff out, but I was gonna say the goldfish booth is heavily inspired by my ultimate favorite scene from Sailor Moon. They're like goldfish scooping and, and it's just, yeah. Or like she's running the goldfish scooping stand. She's not scooping them because she's not, she's not good at scooping them because she's a, a klutzy crybaby. Um, I don't know why I love that episode so much. We had like a few random VHS tapes of Sailor Moon and we just watched them on repeat. So, so my, most of my childhood childhood experience of Sailor Moon was like the first half of season three because that's what we had on VHS because that's what my dad found on eBay um so yeah um anyways yeah watch Sailor Moon if you haven't it's a good show I have a lot I have so many recommendations today I'm just like do this build use these codes place items I don't know just have all these all these advices pieces of advice I'm talking a lot anyways I made the world's tiniest carnival. Oh, hello, Punchy. Thank you for joining me. Um, Y'all know, I don't know why I, I put like carnivals slash boardwalks on like every freaking island that I do, um, including this one, but I made it kind of small. Just, just a little merry-go-round and the Ferris wheels. Hi, snake. Hi, baby. Why did he say hi, you're new? As if I'm like actually visiting. That was like not very dream i feel like they don't say stuff like that in the dream codes maybe i'm wrong i don't know anyways yeah so there's two bridges that lead to the festival by the way which one is right by resident services so if that's like the first place you want to go which i don't blame you if you head there first um that's that's where you can go and now we're gonna head up the stairs to this beautiful walking bridge. I loved this build so much. This is kind of what I was talking about when I was saying that I wanted to be able to do some city-like stuff um, on my island, but not necessarily make it a city. Um, 
it's, you know, very overgrown and rural. And I've always wanted to do this. I remember seeing this when the game first came out and I was like, my brain can't even, my brain can't even comprehend. Hi, Shino. And then from here, uh, you can either go this way or down that way. We're gonna go up here. It connects very conveniently to the school. Um, which I thought made sense to have the walking bridge next to the school because lots of kids are going to be using it. Uh, we've got this little overgrown overgrown soccer pitch with really bright lights. I don't know why they made it so well lit when it literally looks so disheveled and dirty, but you know what? Don't, don't question it. It just, if the items look good, then that's all that matters. It doesn't matter if it makes any sense. It doesn't matter that there's a flea just sitting outside. It looks cute. It fits the aesthetic best hot tip for you all if it looks cute it doesn't matter if it makes sense or not and we have this is oji chen's house aka the school we're gonna go ahead right in because i decorated it and it's so cute all right so here is the main room of the school which surprise surprise it's a classroom um i had so much fun with this i i don't know it's funny because i like my, my schoolhouse in Happy Home Paradise is like so half-assed. It's literally terrible. Um, I think I have a build of it on my YouTube if you wanna see my terrible build. It's not bad, I'm just like over it. Um, I don't know, I just had like no inspiration for it. I think I did like a kid core uh, preschool type thing. So I had a lot of fun with this. Just It's just a classroom. It's just a basic, nice, grungy classroom. I had a lot of fun with it. Um, and I did decorate this side room, so we're gonna head in. And here is our library. Um, I kind of decorated this with whatever items I had left. Um, don't question the fact that the tables are smaller than the chairs. Um, this is a low income school. So they just take whatever tables they can get, even if they are like literally so small that you like can't fit your body under them. Um, it's, it's fine, it's all good. And yeah, you know, this was a this was a really fun room to decorate because I normally go insane putting um, items on all of the walls. And it was actually very nice just being able to rely on the very busy wallpaper so I didn't have to place 700 items. It was a lot of fun. Um, I feel like I don't utilize the kind of fun wallpapers in this game enough. All right, and I blocked off the two side rooms as you can probably tell. Um, and there's no basement, I forgot about that. I was gonna say we have both, but we don't have a basement, it's just upstairs. And upstairs, originally the upstairs was gonna be the library, but I kind of didn't have a lot of library furniture. And so I ended up just putting that in the side room. And this room just became sort of like an extra space. We've got a little music room in here. Um, this definitely is not the most like heavily decorated room of mine, but I still like it. It's just like a small, chill little music room with some stuff, uh, some good little instruments. And then we've got kind of just like the, the break area, I guess, where you might hang out during recess. We've got games, we've got cheeps, or um, what are those? Those don't look like, those are like Ritz crackers, but like, but they're square. Would that be like a cheese it then? I don't know, I don't know what kind of crackers those are, but they're, I don't know what they are, but they look good. Um, I'm PMSing, I want everything. I feel like I'm always PMSing when I'm voicing a, doing a voiceover for a video. I'm just always like, oh my God, I want all the food in this game. <laughs> I, it's fine, it's okay, we're fine. All right, and back out. All right, and back out front, you might have noticed I made a little bite cage. Um, I think it's cute. I don't usually use simple panels, like in general, especially after 2.0. I feel like simple panels kind of died. Um, no one no one uses them anymore, but I had a lot of fun with it. I just wanted to make a little bike parking. Kind of gives me Haikyuu vibes, you know, him biking like way up the hills to get to school. Kind of love it. <gasps> hello, Mr. Firefly. Are you coming to say hello? They're so pretty. Oh my God, look it. He's like about to land on my head. Wouldn't that be cute if the bugs could like land on your head in this game? They could just chill. Like if you stood really still, that'd be fun. So, and then this back area is kind of like a teen hangout for all the rowdy, crazy, delinquent teenagers. Uh, after they leave school for the day, they go and eat their snacks here. And this is the secret hangout. They park their cars here and they climb down this super sneaky ladder, come out to the secret beach, and they do all sorts of sneaky teenager things like skateboarding and playing the ukulele and eating Cheetos and consuming, uh, 
age-appropriate beverages out of these bottles. Um, it's a good time, you know? It's a very good time. Back up this way. So, uh, I kind of did this out of order, but this... These are backyards to this thing here. And you're gonna see that you're gonna you're gonna see it later. You're gonna see the front. I suppose I should have shown the fronts of the buildings first, but I don't want to spoil it now because it's it's a really beautiful view. But these are the backyards. I normally when I do buildings, like like fake buildings, I don't know what to put behind them. So I was like, I'm just gonna make it a backyard. Oh my god. You guys, I have the game audio on, and I just realized th the hour changed. I set my dream address at 2, p at 2 a.m., but it's now playing the 3 a.m. music. Oh my god, I hate this. I hate it. I like just suddenly heard that like ugly like clown noise that the 3 a.m. music makes. I didn't know that. I thought if you set a dream address, it just stayed in that hour over and over. That's how New Leaf worked, at least. Like if you set it to like 5 p.m. and then the bell rang, it'd still be 5 p.m. That's disappointing. Okay, so if you come to this dream and you have the game audio up and you stay long enough, you, your ears will be assaulted with the terrible 3 a.m. music. So um, you've been warned. Um, also, you've been warned this is an empty pool, so don't try jumping into it because you're gonna hurt yourself if you do that. But yes, uh, going with my anime uh, inspiration, I had to have the abandoned pool uh, because free. You know, if, you, if you've seen that anime, like they, they clean the pool. I love that anime. That was a favorite of mine in high school. Also that pool code on the ground, I made it myself. I did find some other like pool flooring codes on Pinterest, but they were so bright, which I'm now really glad I made my own because I think that since my dream address is set at nighttime, it would have looked like so fluorescent and bright. Um, I've got just like a very, a very sad little changing area. We're not a fancy pool that has like a proper building. We literally just have tool stall, two stalls outside uh, that you can go get naked in and put your, your bathing suit on. Um, although there's nothing to go bathing in, so maybe you don't even need to use them. And heading back this way, that bug startled me, what the heck? I'm like getting, I'm getting like jump scared by the bugs in the game. Why is that bug, why is he going so crazy? I'm like, God, get away from me, get away. Marina, save me. Marina, say, oh, he just, <laughs> he just threw himself in the water. Thank you, Marina. Thank you for saving me. She's my queen. She's my lord and savior, Marina. What a, what a babe. Um, okay, this is, this is the build that I was being really weird about earlier. That I was like, oh, I can't show you. I can't show you it until we see it properly. This is the front. I made townhouses. Um, I guess they're not really townhouses. I, I should have put like doors in the front so you can tell that like there's multiple entrances because it kind of just looks like a house with no door, which is a little spooky. But trust me, they're townhomes. Like multiple people live in here, um, multiple families, which is why there's so many things of laundry. Um, I did steal this idea from Pinterest. I'm not that creative. Uh, don't don't freak out too hard. Don't go too hard in the comments. I'm like, oh my God, you're so good at decorating. Cause I'm not, I, I, I steal. I just plagiarize everything. I'm just, I just do a very good job at it. Um, yeah, it's there, there we go. That's my, my little um, townhouse build. I'm very happy with it. I thought we had to have houses near the school cause where do the children live? Um, speaking of children, here are two of my babies, Snake and Genji, the resident jock boyfriends. I see one of them is home. We're gonna go um, see which one. I don't remember which one is in which house. <laughs> and it's Genji. I actually didn't change his house a ton. I really love his deep, this wallpaper is a default. Um, and he's got just a little kitchen where he can cook up. I didn't realize there's a cushion there. Um, cook up fresh veggies, have his protein shake, maybe just eat the powder straight up out of the bottle because Genji's crazy like that. Maybe he makes protein uh, powder jelly or, or whatever and then puts it like a like protein cello. What am I saying? Maybe he made like protein powder paste or like mochi to put into these mooncakes. So it's a protein mooncake. 
Um, I'm very sad though, the music doesn't play out loud. I, I specifically put out music for everyone and I was like, why is it not playing? Did I do something wrong? And I went to a bunch of random dream addresses and I realized I don't think music plays in villager homes ever because every villager house I went into didn't have music. I don't know if that's just a weird glitch on my end or if this is for everyone. So let me know if you visit, do the houses have music playing out loud? Because I can't hear it and that makes me really sad. I don't even remember what music I chose for him. Um, the music outside plays. Like I, I, this one is playing music. I can, you can't hear it because I, I always mute the audio and put cool, chill, demon gummies, lo-fi uh, over the video. But I can hear it, so that one's playing. The inside ones don't play. Okay, so that was Genji's house. So this one is Snake's house with his matching exterior. Uh, the boyfriend's got a match, you know. And I'm just gonna show a little clip of his interior. Uh, kinda also went for that I'm a jock theme that, that Genji's house had. Um, had a lot of fun with it. Had a lot, a lot of fun with it. I discovered that the fans come in the color pink while I was making his house, and I kind of had a meltdown about it. Um, it was a good moment. Anyways, moving along. Also, I put all my mailboxes here. So it looks like it's their mail, but it's actually the human villager's mail. It's another big brain tip. If you don't really care to check your mailbox, put it in front of a villager home. Oh my gosh, hi, Hotaru! Are you playing some some uh, baseball over here or softball or whatever it is? Um, fun fact, I hate baseball. I was forced to play it as a child in, in like school for like a, a fun, a fun way to end the day. We do like once a week, we would like go out and get to play and I hated it. It was terrible. I was bad. Everyone was mean to me cause I couldn't, I literally didn't know how to throw a ball or like hit one with a, a baseball bat. It was terrible. Um, so it was the worst time. Um, if I, if I had, if I had lived in this town, I would have just been like hiding in the bushes. I would have just been like, nope, I am hid. I hide. I did that a bit, not in elementary school because I was too much of a goody two shoes, but like in, in high school, my friends and I would sometimes hide in the locker rooms for PE. Like we literally, I remember one time we literally were like up on top of the lockers. I don't think I got up there because I'm scared of heights, but I know one of my friends literally got up on top of the locker and we hid in there. Um, that's the reason I got a B in that class was because I had really bad attendance. That was the only B I had in all of high school. Um, was it was PE, um, which is arguably one of the easiest classes to get an A in. I got a B because it just didn't show up. Um, so yeah, fun story for you. Anyways, rice patties. We love to see it. We love to see some farming. We love to see some farmer boys. Um, and they're both home. I believe this one to the right is Doby and the other should be Chester. Let's find out if I'm right. I am right. Doby is on the right. I, that's what I said, right? I don't even remember what I just said two seconds ago. I, you know, I think this is my favorite house I did. It really popped off. It looks really good. I gave him like just a cozy little kitchen off to the left and this little cozy kotatsu dining space with all the cushions. Um, I made sure that all of the foods I gave him were either meat or fish because he's a little, he's a wolfie. He needs his meats. Um, and then he's got just his little sloppy bedroom. I'm sad you can't actually walk through the curtains here, um, but I think it's like really cute just for the aesthetic. Um, let's say hi to him. Dopey was a surprise villager. I wasn't gonna take him. He was not on the original list, uh, but he showed up at my campsite and I was like, you're too cute. Um, so he replaced Pinky. I was gonna have Pinky and Chester be a couple, but uh, that, that didn't happen. So sorry, Chester, I took your girlfriend away. <laughs> Actually, a funny fact for you, I was gonna get rid of Chester, but it kept suggesting to replace Pinky. And I was like, oh, well, I have Pinky's amiibo. So once I get her, her once I get Dobie moved in, I'll scan Pinky and kick out Chester. Turns out I didn't have Pinky's amiibo, so I'm stuck with Chester. But that is okay because he's cute. How could you not love him? He's a lazy villager and the lazy villagers are all perfection. It is so cozy. I think this room could put me to sleep. Um, it is very, very cute. Um, I'm obsessed with it. I did like a really similar layout to Dobie's. I just thought, you know, if their houses are next to each other, maybe, I don't know, they were built like by, this, by the same housing development company. So they have the same floor plans or whatever. Oh my God, I just like kicked him in the face. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Chester. I literally was just like talking about like kicking him out, getting rid of his girlfriend, just kicked him in the face, literally. I'm so sorry. 
I always like to pride myself on being a good Animal Crossing player and that I, I talk to my villagers and give them gifts, but here I am literally bullying my villagers, beating them up, destroying their happiness. <laughs> It's okay. Here is my little Totoro forest slash Kodama forest. If you look, uh, you will see little Kodama codes um, and little baby Totoros. I wanted a lot of a lot of uh, Ghibli references to this island because who doesn't who doesn't love a good Studio Ghibli film? I love me some Ghibli energy. And this is my museum up here, which is supposed to be like a shrine. Uh, you can't really tell it's like a shrine up front, but like. It doesn't really have any shrine elements, but it's just a big fancy building, you know, and I feel like it gives shrine energy and the, the red banners do match like the, the red gate and all of that. Um, and this is a lot of fun. I used four inclines in one spot. I usually never sacrifice that many inclines for a build, but as I showed earlier, this is a very flat island. So I had a lot of inclines left. Here we have Shino's house. She is our local shrine maiden. I will show the interior. It's very spooky. I had a lot of fun with it. I think it was my last interior I did. So I was like, let's just slap it together. I was like, I can't build another bedroom or kitchen. I just want to put whatever items I want. So I just made it, yeah, little, little shrine room or whatever, little forest room. This beach is just supernatural and filled in. Lots of Kodamas, lots of plants, and it takes you back to this little spa area. And we're just gonna head on back up around this way. I, and we're gonna see what the rest of the island holds. And there's Miss Shino herself over there. She's so cute, I love her. Okay, so back down this way. Um, this was another way that you can get up to the area. Um, you can either get to like this tree in the, the back of the island, either by that kind of overpass bridge next to the resident services, or there is this bridge here. And this connects back to this little tiny street. Hello, Marina. I'm seeing you so much today. Um, and this over here is a park. I got so many cute pictures of villagers hanging out in the park. Maybe I can get a cute photo of us too. Oh my God, yes. Cutest photo of the two of us in the park. I wanna say hello again. Also speaking of Ghibli, my town tune is the Totoro music. Uh, fun fact, so you can listen for that when you visit, if you choose to do so. And it's just a little sitting area in the park, you know? And if you don't feel like playing around, throwing basketballs, you're not, you're not sporty. You're like me who prefers to hide on top of the lockers than to play sports. You can go sit there. Here we've got this little general store. Um, I had a lot of fun with this build. Um, I did like the little wooden shed to be like the door and then the storefront with the curtains. It looks like an actual like window. Like you can imagine going in and you're in an actual building. Um, so that's what I did. <clears throat> and this leads back to resident services. So it all goes in like a big old loop. I want to take you all this way because I actually skipped a house over here and then we need to see the left portion of the island, which is the end. Um, and this is Cookie's house. She has her own garage. I thought it'd be fun to do a little building um, and make it look like, yeah, she has a car garage for her car because she's a fancy girl. She's a world famous peppy who has lots of money for cars. And here's her interior, another one of my favorites. I did the thing again with the the curtains uh, kind of blocking off the bedroom. Um, I don't remember putting a crafting bench. This was not, no, I'm pretty sure I put, I'm pretty sure I did a key tray and a coat rack. So she must have replaced it. And then when I set the dream address, I got screwed over. So the entrance is, is this ugly table. I might have a video of how the house looked before she fucked it up. Also, that's like, making me anxious that the TV is just static. I don't know if I can even turn that off in the dream. Oh, thank God. I was like, oh, please no more. I'm just waiting for like a scary face to pop up. And here is our teensy little kitchen. Um, see, I'm very proud of this build. I managed to squish a kitchen, a bedroom, and a dining room uh, hangout area all in one build. I tried to put a bathroom over here, but it was just like way too much. But if you really wanted to, if you chose a table smaller, like the Kotatsu is kind of big. If you did just like a regular sofa and table, you could probably squish a bathroom in there too. 
I don't know why, but the idea of having a house with lots of little rooms in it is so cute. I'm always, like, every time I build, oops, every time I build a house on, like, Happy Home Paradise, I'm like, they gotta have a full house. They gotta have the bed bedroom, bathroom, kitchen, dining room, mudroom, laundry room, <laughs> gaming room. They gotta have everything. Marina, you are everywhere. Jesus. She's, like, stalking me at this point. Like, I love you, but chill. Maybe she's trying to keep me safe and make sure... Um, I don't get attacked by bugs again. Here is my little campsite. Just a very simple little place. We're, we're camping. There's tents. There's sandcastles. There's more snail friends. Um, fun fact, I scanned Flurry's amiibo in. If you've watched my videos or my streams, you know there's some fun, some fun backstory to Flurry on my island. So, uh, a little scared that she's on this island. Um, if you know, you know. Um... And this is going to be the final portion of the island across this bridge. Fun fact, this is the original bridge. I didn't demolish it. I still kept it. I demolished basically every other bridge I did because I made wooden bridges and then impulsively said, no, I want to do like the red bridges. Um, got a little Totoro sleepy pond over there. I had no clue what to put over there. So codes and large items it is. This is Punchy's house, and as any lazy villager will tell you, they love food. So I had to give him some food in his yard. And he's also got a cozy spot to sit. His interior is a sushi bar. I will show it now. I'm obsessed with it. Um, I've been so like uninspired for my restaurant in Happy Home Paradise, and I think I want to make a sushi bar like this. I wanted it to be kind of... One of those like really glam like downtown sushi bars you go to where like it's really dimly lit because I guess that looks more bougie. <laughs> so that's kind of what I did. I want to do that in, in Happy Home, but maybe do like Sakura wallpaper. And let's go in. This is Mitzi's house. And she's got a bubble tea cafe. If you've watched my channel, you will know that I have a bubble tea cat cafe on my own Happy Home Paradise. Although, honestly, I kind of like this one better than that one, even though that one took me like five hours to make. Um, it's just so cute and simple. Something about forcing yourself to work in such a tiny house space really, really makes it I don't know. It, it makes you think more critically about the items you're placing. Uh, sometimes doing big builds just isn't it. So that is why I always love to do my villager interiors. Cause it's kind of a fun challenge. And we've got a little boba spot if you bought your drinks in there, but it's all full because I can imagine that little shop just being packed with people. Um, you can come out here with your drinks. And you can also come out here to check out the surf shop. Um, I originally was going to make Nook's Cranny like an actual, you know, like store store. But then I made that general store. And I had temporarily put my Nook's on the beach, as one often does when they're starting a new island. And I thought, you know what? This is cute. This is such a cute little beach with a little dock. I'm going to leave it here. So we made this adorable surfing and diving beach. I did leave a wetsuit out if you feel like swimming. Uh, there's nothing you really need to swim for. Like there's nothing hidden, uh, but I just figured I would provide that if you really felt like going swimming and diving in the dream. Um, I know some people like to go swimming in the dream address. You can sometimes get, uh, I guess, cool angles if you have really big builds, uh, like right by the beach. I don't think I have anything like that though. But yeah, and then speaking of beaches, this is the last beach that I haven't shown. It's a volleyball beach, because as I said, anime, haikyuu, gotta, ha gotta have volleyball somewhere. Um, speaking of which, did y'all see they announced Haikyuu is going to be a two-part movie for the end? I'm actually kind of excited. I know some people are sad, but I'm really looking forward to that. I hate having... I'm very impatient. I just want to see the whole thing right now. So having it released as a movie is kind of nice, because I can just watch it all at once. Um, instead of having to watch one episode and then wait a week and then watch another. Um, so I'm excited for that. I'm like, oh my goodness, I can't wait to see. Um, I only kind of know the ending because I've seen manga spoilers, but hopefully I'll have time to read it before then. And speaking of the end, this is the final little part of the tour. It's Hotaru's house. We've got a little garden. We've got a koi pond. And there's there's fireflies over the koi pond. I love it. Um, we've got a beautiful tank off to the off to the distance on the right. Love that. Um, but yeah, this is the last part, Hotaru's house. Although fun fact, this was the first thing I decorated on this island. 
I usually leave the houses for last, but not this time. I love how this house turned out. I think it's so freaking cute. We've got our little laundry room. I tried to push myself to use more polishing effects. I usually only ever do the, the bugs or the steam, like the most realistic ones, but I thought the little sparks would be fun to put on the washing machine. And here we have our little kitchen. We've got fish, we got rice. We got the kabu on kake, however you say that. Still not even sure what it is, other than it's a turnip with something in it, maybe more turnips, turnip stuffed turnip, I don't know. We got cat grass. I just grew some cat grass in real life and my cat, he doesn't really eat it, but he likes to play with it and smush it with his paw. So I'm gonna take that as a win. And this is where Hotaru and their grandpa can watch TV. By the way, I don't know, I don't know if I really said, but Hotaru uses they, them pronouns. Um, because I can do that, because I wanted to. Because I use they, them pronouns, and I wanted to have a character who uses they, them pronouns uh, as well. Because for some reason, my in-game character here, I, I always refer to her as a she. Even though it's me, and I'm not a she. Does, does anyone, does anyone else, do any other non-binary people have this issue that they, they, they have a disconnect between the pronouns they give their character in the game and themselves? Or am I just really weird? I don't know. I'm, I think I'm just weird, but let me know. Anyways, we got a little bathroom. I really wanted to do a bathroom, but I didn't want to put a million items in, so I used partitions to make it a small room, and I love this. I wish we had the capability of just changing the room shape in Animal Crossing. Um, I really can't wait to get a gaming PC so I can finally play The Sims and make houses that have not square rooms, because that's my biggest beef with Animal Crossing. Why are all the rooms square? Let me have this cute little L-shaped room because um, it's so precious and I used the curtains again to divide it. This was like my favorite item uh, during this whole island. I was just putting curtains everywhere. It just makes a really fun divider um, and we're gonna go upstairs next. And here's the upstairs. I think this is my favorite upstairs room I've ever done. I think this is one of the funnest things you could do with the oversized rooms is you can use the partitions to split it into two rooms. So this is just like the hallway. I just put books out in the hall. You could even make it like a little sitting area or something. Um, or you could block it off even. You could have put another partition here just to make it look like you come up and it's it's the end. Or if you wanted to be spooky, you could put like a, a partition wall and then like a door code. This looks like there's a door that goes to nowhere. My brain is my brain is on overdrive right now. I don't know what's up with me. Um, but here is a Hotaru side of the house. This is their bedroom. They've got their lanterns, their posters. Rest in peace, Pinky, who literally isn't even on the island anymore because I fucked up. Um, but yeah, this is their their room. They have two switches because they're fancy. Um, they got their little baseball mitt because I guess they don't hate baseball like me. Um, they have a bed that frustratingly you can't get into. I don't know if people knew this, you can't get into a bed from the front. You have to go in from the feet part. So the, the fact that there's those those hot Cheetos right there, you can't get in. And that bothers me. And here we've just got a little, I don't know why I can't, can I, can I get in here? Okay, I can't get in here. But got a chair, got their drawing something on paint, I guess, or, or Photoshop or something. Um, and this is grandpa's room, our little Oji-chan room he's got piano i put it backwards <laughs> i'm dumb i put it backwards how did i do that i oh you know i always fuck up something in the dream address and i was so proud of myself that i hadn't fucked up yet i put that backwards See, this bed you can get into because the, the foot part is open. So fun fact for you. I also put a wheelchair here. I wanted the grandpa to be like wheelchair, a wheelchair user, but that's not like an option in this game. So when, when you see him walking around, no, you didn't. Just imagine he had a wheelchair. I wish they would add that for a future game. I think that'd be really cute. I know it's like a very tiny feature, but it would mean a lot to a lot of people. Um, and I think that'd be really fun. Anyways, let's head downstairs to the basement. And here we are in the basement, my favorite room by far. Um, I did the, the, the Happy Home Paradise, like special lighting in the orange, really, really low, turned down like super low. Um, and it gives it this beautiful, you can still see, it's not like, like if the lights were totally off, you couldn't see, but it's still very dim and glowy. Um, the music's playing in here. I don't know why it doesn't play in the villager homes, cause it's playing in here. 
but this is kind of the basement it's obviously a very messy storage room there's a bunch of old things um there's fishing rods and, and golf clubs and stuff uh, I think I had like part of my lore was that like Hotaru's grand oh I didn't mean to sit down Hotaru's grandpa was like in the navy before he was in his wheelchair so I thought I would put some stuff like like fishing related not that you really go fishing in the navy but you know what I mean but anyways yeah very messy little basement lots of items it was a lot of fun a uh, great great way to just use up whatever's in your storage there's also the whoopee cushion over there i like never use the whoopee cushion i've been watching a lot of uh scavenger hunt streams lately and i'm planning on doing one myself so i'm trying to like put weird items in like i can imagine like getting the whoopee cushion as an item to find and being miserable because no one uses it so like i put it there with that in mind like maybe some poor streamer out there will find it on a scavenger Avenger hunt stream <laughs> and then yeah this hotaru kind of made part of the the basement into their hangout space so they can play board games eat their ramen have their <laughs> once again have our uh age appropriate beverages um play ping pong you know whatever whatever the cool teenager kids do and with that the tour of mochi is over i really really hope that you enjoyed it this island was so much fun for me to decorate i didn't really film any speed builds or anything like i originally intended um i think i did like a, a live stream or two decorating it but for the most part i did it off camera and honestly it was so refreshing and fun to just build just because i wanted to build something and not because i felt pressured and I feel like that really shows. You can really, hopefully you can feel all of the love and attention to detail that went into this island. Hopefully you can feel all of the wheat fields that went into this island. If you visit it yourself, you will feel the wheat field lag uh, just a little bit. Um, it's not that bad, um, thankfully, but y y you do feel it in a couple spots. But anyways, um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It'd mean a lot to me. And maybe hit that subscribe button. Not to be annoying, but we're really close to a thousand. And it would mean a lot to me if you wanted to stick around and see more content. I just started a new island. Mochi has already been yeeted, which is why I'm visiting the dream address. Um, so there's gonna be a lot more content to come. Uh, a lot more fun autumnal builds and some maybe happy home builds maybe some more lots more dream island tours lined up already so maybe come hang out stick around see what there is more to see and until the next time hope you have a wonderful rest of your day or night and stay peachy bye bye